Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into an exciting tool called PinChat. As always, we are here to provide you with honest reviews and explore tools that will take your user experience to the next level. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss any of our latest content. Now let's get to our computer screen. So guys, this is PinChat. First of all, we are gonna check out its pricing, what it's offering. Then we're gonna check out lifetime deal that's running for PinChat. First, we have the $0 per month, which is the pre-package. We're gonna get unlimited chat links, 100 MAU, ex export chat data, customized chat link, customized pinboard, basic data analysis. So guys, the fact is that the free version is offering a lot in PinChat. And then we have the starter package, which is gonna cost us $30 per month. And we, we, will, we will also get unlimited chat links, all functions for free plan, 300 MAU, survey and chatbot, customized chat widget. Then we have the light plan, where we are gonna get unlimited chat links, 500 MAU, all functions of starter, which, we, which means we are gonna get all the functions from starter. And here is all the functions from free plan. So all these functions plus all these two functions as well. So we are gonna get all five of these functions in starter. And then we have standard, which is gonna give us unlimited chat links, 1000 MAU, all functions from light. I mean, all these five plus custom domain, custom meta tags. Well, that's really cool. Then if you need more customizations, well, you can contact them and get better packaging. Now let's go ahead and check the lifetime deal for PinChat. All right, so we have PinChat on AppSumo. Well, the mango just redirects us to AppSumo. Well, these links, well, these hostings just uh, redirects us to AppSumo. So we are gonna check out the lifetime deal on AppSumo. All right, guys, so it's gonna cost us $69 for lifetime uh, package. And let's see what it's offering us. We have license tier one, two, three, four, five. Well, we have one, two, three, four here. And now let's go ahead and check out how what these licenses are providing us. So this is best for customer support, marketeers, and small businesses, and it's alternative to Intercom. Now scrolling down, uh, we have all these features here, and we have 60-day money-back guarantee. So if you don't feel like the application is helping you in any anyways, then within two months you can just get your refund and not use the software anymore. So here is the license tier one where we'll get all the basic features above included, which means there are so many features. Please check them out by pausing the video. And then we have uh, 2,500 monthly active users, two sub accounts, unlimited website and internal users, white labeling and custom domain. After that, we have all the features license tier two, which is gonna give us all the features included plus unlimited websites and internal users. Well, uh, this as uh, same as license tier one, just uh, we're gonna get 10,000 monthly active users and five sub accounts. Then we have the license tier three, which is gonna give us 30,000 monthly active users and 15 sub accounts. We can upgrade it to four, which is gonna give us unlimited sub accounts and uh, 100,000 monthly active users. Then we have a tier five, which is also gonna give us unlimited sub accounts and 200,000 monthly active users. All right guys, so the link uh, will be provided below in the description if you want uh, to buy PinChat anyhow. Well, let's then get started with PinChat. But before we get started, let me give you a brief about PinChat. Well, PinChat is a powerful uh, marketing tool designed to boost engagement and drive traffic to your website. It claims to combine the power of chatbots to create an interactive and personalized experience for your audience. So let's explore its features and see if it's the ultimate tool for your uh, chatting needs. On the top right corner, we have get started button. We are gonna click that and get registered to pin chat. All right, here we go. We can continue with Google with just one click, which is really convenient. So we are gonna continue with Google. So which of the below best describes us? Well, since I'm an individual, I'm gonna select individual. Then we have, what kind of work do you do? Technology, and what is your role? Well, team member, manager and member. All right, so we're gonna get team member and then we're gonna click next. How did you find us? AppSumo, 
Uh, sorry, mistake. <laughs> All right, how did you find us? So we're gonna select switch engines, social media, online ads. We can select others. What are your What are you planning to do with Pinchat? Well, I'm planning to add chats to website. Now let's go ahead and begin. So our pin link is ready. This is the pin link. We are gonna check it out. All right, so we have copied the link. Now we are gonna click on start. Let's check out the link with another window. We're gonna open a guest uh, a window on our Chrome and then go here. And here is pin chat. So we are gonna be guest engaged now. And here is the chat room. So here I am and how can I help you? Hi, how are you? Now let's go ahead and check out our pin chat. As you can see, the link is here in the chat room. We have a message. There's a guest here. And you may, you may be able to hear the beep noise that's get, uh, coming from here when I was typing. Here you can see it's uh, giving a beep. You can also export your chat log from here. Let's see how the chat log is exported. Well, here we go. Here is the exported chat log. And now we're gonna find another account. And insert the same link. Guest two. And we're gonna get back to pin chat and we're gonna send another message here. So my first chat room has two messages. So uh, you can link one chat room to your one website, which is which means that uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you to link your chat rooms with a website. So here is the chat room where we have two messages from two separate people. So what you want to do is that you want to create different chat rooms for your different uh, websites. So we have all chat rooms, which is this one. Now here we have pin, pin chat support team. All right, now let's take a look at the website, a quick overview. First of all, on the top right corner, we have our account and we, we are able to log out. Then we have our links. We have analytics. So after analytics, we have chat rooms that you joined. Then we have settings where we all get my account, sub account, billing, in chat payment settings. Then we have language. After that, we will be able to log out. So let's go ahead and check out chat rooms that you've joined. All right, so this is the chat room that I have joined. Let's share your link and QR code. Share pinchat.me slash customer support. All right, so this is the chat room that I'm uh, in. Like I'm getting support from this chat room. So uh, in my account, what do we have? So you guys, in my account, we have our account. We have email address. I don't know why our email address is uh, like this. <laughs> then we have our account password. We have account activity record. We have email, phone number. We don't. We haven't set any email or phone number, so we don't have any at the moment. Then we will be able to add sub accounts to our account. So if we want to add our manager or someone who wants to uh, manage our chats while we are not here, like it's hard to manage all the chats with a single person, right? So you can add more sub accounts so that other people can manage your chat too instead of bots. Then we have the setting where we have current plan free trial, end of monthly period, end of monthly period, MAU quarter, already used three MAU. All right, now we've checked all these. Now let's get back to my links and we're gonna show you how many chat links, chat rooms can we manage. So here is the display QR code. We can display the QR code and let's try to scan the QR code. All right, so 
we're gonna scan the QR code with our device here we go let's see if the scanning works so we have scanned the device in our smartphone now let's uh, click on engage now so we have sent a message from our smartphone now let's check it that's funny because no message showed up here oh there it is well the message didn't pop up i don't know why it didn't pop up it should have popped up all right no worries the message came through that's what matters so we have sitting here edit and we're gonna edit this chat room so we have welcome message here or we can get interactive buttons the color theme all right so the color theme of our website is blue so we're gonna keep it blue then we have divider check out our social media visit website all right now let's go ahead and save it we have added a button we can add more buttons if necessary like menu Alright, so we have created a menu button. Now we are going to try out the menu button. Now let's go ahead and. Okay, so we're going to save this page first. Basic settings saved. Alright, now we have chat room settings. Chat room name is App and Box. Display name will also be App and Box. Now, theme color will be blue. Show status, all right. Send file, image, videos, offline message. All the customer care representatives are offline. Please wait a moment. So here we go. Now let's go ahead and save this. So we are managing the chat link details. Let's see what we have in advanced settings. All right, so now we have widget style, rectangular, uh, rounded, rectangled, image aligned right, rectangle, image aligned left. Well, then we have extended rectangle. Uh, well, I think this one is much better. Then we have customized appearance. We're gonna select blue. That's how our website goes. Then we have the button image. We can change the image if necessary. And then we have our embedding code. So we are gonna copy this script into our website where we want this uh, chat to appear. So we are not gonna go to coding. I'm just showing you guys that you can copy this script and then you can use this script in your website so that you can get support from pin chat. Then we have third party integrations. All right, first we're gonna save. All right, after saving, we are gonna get, uh, we have for survey, we are not creating surveys. Then we have sub account, you can uh, set your, uh, you can select your agents. I mean, you can select helpers that will uh, respond to the chats when you are offline. And then Pinbot, when everyone else is offline, then Pinbot will be there to save the day. So uh, chatbot name is gonna be chatbot, okay. Then we have turn on Pinbot. There is no chatbot currently. Please set up a chatbot flow first. Active chatbot as soon as user joins the chat when user enters this keyword. Okay, we're gonna activate the chatbot as soon as a user joins the chat. So notify me with any message. Notify me when user enters these words. Notify me with any message, okay? Main flow settings, add message. So we can select flow for the chatbot. Well, you can select your flow, button template messages, carousel template messages. All right, so we can select the flow for our chatbot. Exception flow settings. After selecting the flow, you will be able to turn on chatbot. So we are not, uh, let's go ahead and select the flow. Why not? Text message settings.
keyword that triggers this message all right so it's gonna be a very long process guys so i'm not going in that much deep but you can set flow and make your chatbots respond to the texts of your clients so we are gonna confirm and update custom domain well we're gonna select our domain name we have create your dns records and verify your domain all right no no need verification now right we're gonna go out from here and go to third-party integrations so in third-party integrations we have line integration switch the messaging api tab find a channel access token long lived all right so we have line integration we have a whatsapp integration as you can see you can copy this webhook url to go to con configuration page and paste this url uh, to the callback URL then we, we can enter our phone number ID open your app and meta developer console uh, click on product whatsapp and get your phone number ID to get started with this page okay so you can have whatsapp integration messenger instagram and slack integration so currently we have five integrations available that we can use then we have the client list so these are the clients that are texting us and they are all the client list wow we can export all of them together export to google set it's upcoming so we're gonna export to cvs file csv file let's go ahead and check the csv So here is the csv file guys we have guest we have guest 2 and we have our smartphone where we have chat room null email everything is null so i guess that's uh, that just gives us the data of all the customers that are in the chat room all right now let's get back to my links and since we have tried out the chat room and we have customized it after trying it out we are going to go to the chat room again with a new link So here we go, app unbox, oh, new link. All right, guys, so here we go. We have another chat room, which is, this is, this time I'm gonna name it test, display name, test, and then you can create, direct our group. Everyone in this chat link will be in the same chat room. Okay, so a group chat room will, a group chat room will be like that everyone clicks on the chat link will be the same group, which, uh, which is not what we want. We want to handle our customers separately. So we are going to create a direct chat room. But if you want to create a group, then make sure to hit that group button and then create the chat room. Alright guys, so as you can see, this is a test chat room and if you have multiple websites, like I have created one for App and Box, then if I have another website, then I will create another chat room for that website. Or I can create multiple chat rooms for a single website. Well, that's also possible, but I'm not doing it because uh, I don't feel like that's necessary at the moment. So I'm going to copy this one and then I'm going to close this guest uh, Google Chrome tab. I'm going to close this one too. Then I'm going to get a new guest Google Chrome tab. All right, so now we are gonna go to the link that we copied and pin chat is loading again. And now we're gonna click on visit website. Here we go, as you can see, now the links are working and then we have visit website two. Well, let's see, website one, pin chat error, why? And we'll find the page that you want to visit. Mm. So I might have entered something wrong. The YouTube is working. All right, there might be something wrong. Let's go ahead and check why the website did not work. The YouTube link seemed to work pretty well. Alright, now let's go to chat room settings and where was that pin board? Where's the buttons? I'm unable to see the buttons that... Well guys, I'm unable to find the buttons that was uh, there. Start new chat button engage now. We're gonna change it to chat now. So pin board. 
and here is the powered by paint chat message which looks mm, which if you don't want to uh, keep then you can remove it but uh, it will not be available for free accounts after the trial period is over oh i haven't saved it yet but let's go ahead and save it all right it works then we're going to go to advanced settings again let's see what happens happens to that button well i might not be able to find that button all right so we're going to click on interactive buttons and then we have the website let's see edit this app unbox dot com well it okay so it's not gonna be appunbox.com so it has to be https slash okay so it's gonna be the entire website now i don't know guys that this one uh, this one worked perfectly okay but this one did not work now let's go ahead and try to insert the entire website now all right copy this Now we're going to paste the website here. Now you better work. We're going to save it again. And control shift R. We're going to refresh the entire page. Then we're going to visit the website. Okay, so now it worked. I don't know why it, it's making problem. It worked with just app and box with the button on the top but when but when i was trying to um, manage these interactive buttons it was not working so here link one link two well here i haven't set any http https or um, slash font slash back slash nothing i gave nothing but still it was working all right guys so as you can see you can do so much with pin chat and you can manage your entire business with with multiple persons and when you're available you can also use chat bots to manage your chats in pin chat so thanks for joining us today as we explored pin chat if you're interested in trying out this innovative tool you can find the link in the video description below and if you found this review helpful give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family and remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification so you never miss out our latest reviews and marketing tips. And if you have used PinChat before or have any questions, share your thoughts below in the comments. We love hearing from you.